Um, a bit sad. This is the Uber self-driving car that uh, killed a pedestrian in uh, in Tempe, where uh, not far from where I'm from. I used to live actually about a half mile from this uh, from this location, and uh, this is pretty sad. So the the gist of it is there was um a, a, one of the self driving Ubers. These are the test vehicles that they have out there. Uh, where there is a person behind the the wheel. Um, there was a lady crossing the street on a bike and she was struck by the car and then later died at the hospital. Those are kind of the basic facts of it. Um, I'm upset about this. This really kind of hit me hard because uh, as someone that, I guess I guess this is like an industry I work in now, um, you know, digging into these, these details and, and sharing that information, um, it's sad because I think it could have been prevented, mostly because I think going for level five autonomy right now is a, is, is early. It's way early in, in my book. I understand that, um, we, we want to get there and this is how progress is made, but I, I don't think that, um, that we need to be pushing so hard to get there, uh, you know, just to make more money. Um, I just think it's kind of, kind of lame. Um, and so I'll show you the exterior video here. So if, you know, Viewer discretion advised. If you're sensitive to that, this is kind of graphic, uh, but you know you don't see the person actually die or anything, so don't worry about that. Uh, and I'm going to show you this one solely, uh, just to d demonstrate like how dark it was and how basically like you couldn't see anything. Even even a human probably would have would have been this would have been the same result. I mean, it's completely pitch black bad news. It just didn't work. Um, and, and that really sucks. Now, uh, two things that, that really, uh, can, that made this worse. I think one was that they posted not only this video, but the video of the driver who appeared to be on his phone at the time and they released his name. So the way the internet works, I really, this pisses me off because this guy, yes, he, you know, th this was, he's at fault here it, to, to some extent. I'm sure people will be digging into that, you know, in details and there'll be investigations and all those kind of things. But this guy doesn't need to be publicly shamed like this. Like he killed someone, um, you know, even he's partly responsible for that in some way or another. And that is going to, that is going to be something that he's going to live with for the rest of his life. And so he has enough pain and suffering to deal with already that he doesn't need to be internet shamed out of it. And so the fact that they released that video and his name, um, to me it is, is kind of below the belt. It was unnecessary. I think, I think even this exterior video, uh, is, isn't necessary at all. Just the, the details of the story, things like this graphic, all that is really, really enough, um, to, to make this something newsworthy. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, uh, like I love the New York Times, but 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 th that really got to me. So I'm curious what you guys think about that. Is it is it right? Is it wrong to release the video, of, uh, these videos, and the guy's name? Um, is it too early to be really trying to test these things, especially at night? Uh, should there be tighter controls, or you know, is the guy totally to blame here? I'm curious what you guys think. Um, cause yeah, this is a, this will be an ongoing thing that, that we're, that we unfortunately have to get more comfortable with. So curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below.